What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. So Polkadot. Polkadot is a very boring crypto. And what I mean by boring is not the technology itself because the technology is fantastic. Let's be real. You actually can't really talk about crypto without mentioning Polkadot. That's how great Polkadot is. But I'm talking about price action because the price action hasn't been the greatest in comparison to like the other big names in crypto and Polkadot is a really big name. See on the day Polkadot is sitting at $7.36. In the last year, it actually hasn't gone that gone up that much. It went as low as like 367 give or take up to 737. That's nothing. That was basically just a double. You would have only doubled your money. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think that the price action should be a lot higher. Now, there's a catalyst coming up for DOT sometime this year. And they're introducing Polkadot 2.0. Essentially, what they're doing is getting rid of the parachain auction and make it better with something called Core Time. Now, whether or not you fully understand the technology, it doesn't really matter. Okay, if you like Polkadot, I love Polkadot. But if you don't like Polkadot, maybe get into it because of the news that's coming out. Who knows? It could be a nice trade for you, right? But another reason why I love Polkadot is, look, I don't know. I hope you guys know what Unity Games is because it is just massive. But here you can see that Polkadot, the blockchain interoperability platform, is entering the world of gaming through a strategic collaboration with Parity Technologies and Unity Games. So for anyone that doesn't know what Unity Games is, all I need to say is this right here. This partnership facilitates Polkadot's integration with the game engine that powers popular titles such as Pokemon Go and Call of Duty Mobile. That is just, that's massive. That is very, very massive because those are two really, really big names. Unity Games, a leading software development kit provider for game developers, commands a substantial 60% share of the mobile gaming market. So if you don't think that's big, I don't know what to tell you, but that is just absolutely massive. And I believe that when Polkadot 2.0 comes, there is going to be a nice run made on Polkadot, no matter what's going on in the crypto market. Now, even on Twitter here, they are very active. They've got, what, 1.4 million followers. Like, their community is huge. And like I said, you can't mention crypto without mentioning Polkadot. Okay, and you can see here, January 12th, they posted, Dot Ignite is coming to Moonbeam Network. This is going to explode. It really is going to explode no matter what the market is doing when it comes time, when 2.0 comes around. Right now, it's still down, obviously, $7.35, but this is going to make a real run. But let's take a quick look at what's going on in the market. Bitcoin continues to fall. 41.8, that's not the greatest. Ethereum is back into the $2,500 range. So obviously... DOT is not going to be pumping as of right now because of the whole ETF disaster, which is still leaking out in the market. But good news is coming for DOT, folks. So don't give up on this one if you're in it, because one day this one is going to be pumping before you know it. And remember, when it comes to investing, you want to be the one that's in there first. You don't want to you don't want to be the last one in there. You don't want to be chasing the bull after everyone's already been in there making all types of gains. So I want to know everyone's thought. What do you think about Polkadot? Do you think that it's boring and you're not going to get in it because there's no action? Not a lot of people really talk about it anymore. It was very popular not too long ago, a couple years ago. I don't know why it just went flat, but... Yeah, what do you think? Are you in Polkadot or are you not in Polkadot? Let me know in the comments section below what you think about it. And do you think that the 2.0 upgrade is going to make Dot really take off like I think it's going to do? 
Or do you think it's going to remain flat because that's what it's been doing for quite some time? I don't know. But remember that none of this is financial advice. Everything that I'm saying right now is just my own opinion. You should always do your own research about everything. And thank you all for watching. I'll definitely catch you all in the next video. All right. Until then. Peace.